Hi and welcome to the demonstration video for levels, curves, and colors, an introduction. Um, we're going to start out doing more with layers and we're going to start by creating an adjustment layer which is down here. And in this particular exercise, I am going to um, look at brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure. Um, you can also play around with hues and saturation. So here's what I've done. I clicked on the hues and saturations. I can now use my sliders and increase the colors, okay? Um, this is a brand new layer, so I have, if I disappear that layer, you'll see that no changes have been made to the actual background. Um, I am going to get rid of this layer. What I am going to do now is add another, and I'm going to use levels, and you'll see this. And what I can do is change some of the levels, bring them closer together to increase contrast, right? Um, I also have some presets here, so I can just use this. Okay. Um, I'm going to hide that layer, so I'm going back to the original one. Um, let's take a look at curves. This is really cool. This is kind of another way of increasing the contrast or making an image darker or lighter. If you click on the line, you can create a second curve or even a third curve and adjust them appropriately. And then I'm going to close that. Um, let me see what else you may need to quickly learn. Okay, we've done curves. We've done decreasing or increasing contrast. Um, we can also do color correction. So I am going to add a new adjustment there. And I need to find the one for color or saturation. So I'm going to do hue and saturation. And here I can colorize or not. I can desaturate it, almost making it black and white. Or I can Really push, really push the reds or the blues. Okay, and again, I take that away, and you'll see you go back. So this is my curves level. This is my levels level. Okay, this is my hue and saturation one, saturation two. So, the more adjustments you make, the more changes you make. Uh, work with this, remember, whoops, it's down here, your adjustment layers, and if I get rid of them by clicking the delete, you will see the original image is unchanged. Hope you found this helpful. We'll see you on the next assignment.